Why don't you cycle all the way? It'll cost you nothing, but it'll take you half an hour. Okay, I haven't got that much time, so what, yeah. are my, what are my options? Well, you could drive all the way, but it's going to cost you £40 in parking. It's quick, but it's going to be expensive. Well, okay, I don't really want to spend that. How about, okay, um, drive to um, a parking point, get on a train, and then finish your journey on the bike. Great, that works for me. Press that button, and it will plan your route for you. And um, so, in this scenario, we're going to drive to a station, and we're going to park, and we're going to get on our bike, uh, yeah. take the bike on the train, and then. But what if there's a there's a oh there's a delay on the tubes? We can take that sort of information live and automatically reroute you. So okay, tube delays, that's not going to work. I'll park here because there's a parking space available. Yeah. Um, yep. And we'll um, I'll you know I'll get on the um, I'll cycle the rest of the way. So automatically reroute you. And now we're cycling. One of the um, one of the features that we've introduced, and again I was talking about some of the needs that we've identified from why don't people want to do this, is mainly people don't want to arrive at their destination a sweaty mass. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest, you know, I like the idea of cycling but I've got work to do. Mm -hmm. So we have this system which is called um, No Sweat Mode. Okay. And the idea is it adjusts the amount of assistance that the motor gives you so that ultimately when you arrive at your destination, it's powering up and your effort is going down so you arrive sort of fresh and without having broken a sweat. There's haptic navigation, and again, I can show you on that on the bike at some point. So what happens is, um, you might not have the screen on your bike, you probably want it in your pocket or something like that. Um, so you haven't got a screen for your sat nav. So what it does is it gives you indications, it gives you signals through the handlebars, they, they vibrate slightly. So, for example, coming up to a left turn, it will give you warnings at sort of, say, 100 metres, 50 metres, 20 metres, and then eventually, and it gives you a visual signal as well using the indicators. There's also another another one of the concerns we identified is clearly safety. Safety is a big problem. So one of the things we've developed there is um, there's a sensor on the back of the bike which can tell you if there's something coming up too close or overtaking, for example. Is that hairs on the back of the neck? You know, there's something there just a glance over your shoulder, but it will also it'll give you a warning through the handlebars using the, the haptic feedback, and it will also um, illuminate the indicators red, so it gives a visual signal to the driver of the vehicle that perhaps he hasn't seen you or give us a wide berth, and we're looking at all sorts of technologies around that as well. It gives you, you know, it could give you your heart rate, it could give you, you know, your, obviously all the sort of information associated with, um, you know, how many calories you burn, all sorts of stuff like that. So, for example, again, taking advantage of all the information that's out there is, it's raining, maybe I don't want to, people don't want to ride a bike in the wet, so it gives you alternatives, it can take that into account and adjust, you know, according to your preferences and so on. So in this occasion, well, I'll, just, I'll get a bus, um, an on-demand bus, or, um, and again, it's another one of the experiments that we're carrying out, one of these 25 experiments is this idea of an on-demand bus, again, that's shown in the, in the video. And that kind of completes the... And I can show you some of the features on the bike. Do you mind if I... Um, so it's exactly the same app that I've just showed you. And what we've done is we've basically built all these into a, just a screen to make it easy to demonstrate. But most of the features are actually on your thumb switches around on the handlebars. So for example, we've got... I was talking about the haptic feedback. If you put your hand on there, you can feel the and you get a visual signal saying turn left, turning left. Can you can you feel the um so can you feel that one there? Oh hang on, try me. Yeah? So fairly simple technology. Obviously you have indicators, left and right. Um, headlights, which you can have on a strobing setting. So you can see that down there. And again, we can integrate that sort of thing automatically. So in particular situations in a road, for example, coming up to a junction, you probably want more visibility to be seen rather than to see. So the strobing can actually turn on automatically. It doesn't, doesn't require any input from you. Um, 
we have um, again some of the features that you expect to find on a car things like you go and buy a bike these days buy the bike and then you've got to go and buy the lights and then you've got to go and buy the pump and then you've got to go and buy the lock and then you've got to buy the mud guards it's all integrated it's all part of the part of the system um, indicators as well and also a horn so we've got a little sort of tinkle for pedestrians but something a little bit more aggressive for other road users um, and there's the I always remember I was telling you about the, the sonar that there's the sensor at the back that will give you double and the, and the bar ends light up so you, oh yeah so it's just kind like, of oh shit, massage. glance over your shoulder, yeah. that lifesaver. Oh, okay. And also things like, um, the, the rear light is on all the time, as you'd expect, but yeah. there's also things like brake lights. Yeah. So, How does it recognise this uh, danger like behind the sensors? Or? There's, a, there's a sensor at the back, okay. if you can have a look there, it's this big sort of, uh, oh, it's yeah. basically like a parking distance control, but a bit more, yeah. bigger range, a bit more sophisticated. Okay. 